who's interested in studying abroad can actually take the trip to Italy because even though it is geared towards photography and therefore there are a lot of art majors, in our trip we actually had a psych major, we had a finance major, and I think we had a computer sciences major as well. It didn't matter if you were, if you had any experience in photography or had a lot of it because we all kind of learned at the same pace and we all learned something new about photography while we were there. It's definitely something that even if you have no experience in, you can get a lot from it and really enjoy it. At first I was pretty worried about going on this trip because I didn't have any friends that were going, but once we had the class meetings and we were actually in Italy, it was pretty easy to become comfortable with everyone there and just have fun doing group activities. When you literally live with people for four and a half weeks and they're the only people that you know in a massive city in a country very far away from home, you bond really quickly. And while these people were complete strangers a month and a half ago, now I really consider them to be lifelong friends. I've never left the United States at all, so I was very nervous, but it was really surprisingly easy once you went there and you're submerged in the culture, you got um, a little bit more sense of how the outside world works and... You actually live right in the center of Florence. Like, you just leave the apartment, you're right there next to Duomo, you can go to the supermarket, just like an Italian. You really are submerged in the culture. We got to see the art that we've been studying for weeks here in the U.S. and it was so cool just seeing it there in front of my eyes. The same piece that was touched hundreds of years ago by the artist is the one that you're looking at. You can see it up close. You could turn the corner and you could see, you know, David. You could see a Da Vinci. You could see anything. And the lectures that you get from the professors and the tour guides, they really take on a different meaning when you get to see it like that. It was interesting to have my professor with me at all times and see her teaching us in restaurants about the food and about the history of Florence on top of the Duomo and in a regular classroom about photography. So it was awesome that she got to teach us basically wherever we went for four weeks straight. When I was a freshman and I saw this trip being offered to the students, I thought I wasn't ever going to be able to afford it, but going on and seeing the scholarships that were offered to us at IU South Bend, I was able to afford the trip. Grants that you can apply for that are fairly easy to get, and there's also financial aid. All of your financial aid can go towards it. You can use your loans, you can use your FAFSA, all that stuff goes towards it, and it's so easy to get scholarships for stuff like this. It's honestly a lot easier th than you think it is to afford the, this kind of thing, and it's definitely worth it. I would absolutely study abroad again to have the experience to learn more about myself, learn more about the world, to see things in a new light and in, in a way that I never have before. Um, this is probably one of the only times you'll get to go study abroad into a different country and going outside of the textbooks and seeing that art right in front of you instead of between the pages such an eye-opening experience going to a new country and meeting new people and I'm so grateful for this opportunity while studying here at IU South Bend.